Hello, hello everyone. My name is uh, Marcos. I am I am Professor Marcos Santos, and I teach operational research at the Military Institute of Engineer, and I coordinate the activities on operate in operational research house. And today. Uh, uh, we are receiving the professor uh, Eder Cassetari. My guest is Professor Eder Cassetari. Hello, professor. How are you doing? Hello, master. How are you? Fine, thank oh. you. And you? Oh, I'm great. Thanks for asking. And today we uh, talk about uh, a new method developed by Professor Eder Cassetari. But first of all, I, I will read the, the, the resume uh, of the, the professor. Uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Now, resume. Professor Eder Cassetari is PhD candidate at Polytechnic School, U, USP industrial engineer and master degree at Unicamp, automotive mechanical engineer at FEI, Lean Six Sigma master black belt sensei, Lean expert, more than 20 years of experience at aut automaker organization, CEO at master Lean Six Sigma consulting, Data Science Associate Professor at USP. Industrial Engineer Associate Professor at UNIVESP. Research at Military Institute of Engineer and member of OR Society. A uh, very uh, excellent resume. So it's an uh, honor master. for us, Professor. Uh, honor is mine. So talk about, talk a little bit about yourself, your hobbies, your family, uh, and so on. Do you have okay. kids? You are a kid, Thor. Thor is. Ah, yeah. I have my, I, I have, I have kid. two kids. A <laughs> uh, 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 little cat, he called it Frida. I have a uh, golden retriever called uh, Brigitte. And my little puppy, Thor, uh, Thor, Great Dane, a blue Great where? Dane of where 200 is Thor? Where? pounds. Show us. Uh, where? Where down is off, Thor? Off, <laughs> down off my, my table right now. <laughs> she, she, he loves my 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 life. <laughs> so, uh, and today uh, we are uh, talk about the new method. De yeah. developed by by you uh, called critique strategy method yeah and first what kind of problem can i solve with this this method this new method what okay. kind of of solve or, or uh, what kind of problem Critique strategy is uh, a new uh, operational research method from class of uh, multi-criteria decision analysis. He has for objective to select uh, candidates based on uh, risk in terms of strategy. Oh, it is good. possible to add new criteria uh, uh, out of the, the dimensions related to to strategy, but the, the idea of the method is to avoid the current um, uh, practicals that resolve this type of problem, strategic risks, absolutely without science, without uh, mathematics, without uh, a good explanation. Oh, so good. I got it. And I know cr uh, critic method and I, I, I think 
uh, this, it is an uh, excellent method because uh, it uses a uh, statistic, statistic approach, critique yeah. method. That's correct. I don't need the judgment from the decision maker. The, the, that is data, the data set from the, the decision matrix with the data set with the decision matrix, I can uh, calculate the weights of each criteria. Yeah. Uh, but you develop uh, one new approach with yeah. critique method. So let's get started. So let's see okay. the... Okay. You are seeing my, my screen? Okay. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay, first of all, thanks for the opportunity to be here again at Operational Research House. Thank you to my master, uh, Professor Dr. Marcos dos Santos. Uh, well, the proposal uh, of this, this, this work is uh, share with you a method that I developed as part of my PhD degree uh, that I make at the Escola Politecnica uh, of São Paulo University, but I did uh, extension at Militar Institute of Engineering. Uh, the method that this 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 word is. Uh, proposal of the new framework, critique strategy. Critique is the original method. Strategy uh, comes from the new approach that I'm working on that. And G means that the method has group technology. It means that we can uh, uh, work at the same time with a lot of decision makers. Uh, this method was developed by me under supervision of my supervisor teacher, Professor Marcos dos Santos, and my colleague, Fabio Baldini, at Militar Institute of Engineering. Um, talking very quickly about my, my re resume, I am PhD candidate in mechanical engineering by Polytechnic School at USP, PhD candidate extension, in system computing by Military Institute of Engineering. I am master in science in industrial engineering by, by State Campinas University, um, BSc in mechanical automotive engineering by FEI. Uh, I am a lean manufacturing and off expert. I have the certifications on Lean Institute Brazil and Institute uh, United States. Uh, lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt Sensei in three methodologies. De Mike, de uh, Medv e Design for Six Sigma. I also uh, uh, have the certifications as deployment champion by Six Sigma Academy USA, uh, Ford, and KPB Consulting and Training here in Brazil. Uh, currently, I am CEO of owner and owner of Master Link Six Sigma Consulting and Training. I am member of Operational Research Society UK as PhD candidate, member of Brazilian Society of Operations Research, Sobrapo, member and speaker uh, of Operational Research House, member of researcher group from Militar Institute of Engineering, associate professor at NBA of Data Science and Analytics by USP, associate professor at MBA of Operational Research in Business School Brazil, Associate Professor at Industrial Engineering Data Science in Big Data at uh, MBMNB University. Associate Professor at Industrial Engineering at UNIVESP. And also, I have more than 20 years at Automaker Industry. In the last position was South America Process Improvement Net Manager and Six Sigma Master Black Belt. Um, if you need more contact with me, I am uh, sharing with you my LinkedIn, and I have a group at uh, WhatsApp. Uh, you has the, the the QR codes here. Okay, it will be a pleasure uh, uh, 
be, to have your association. Well, let's talk about the, the method. The method is a new framework, uh, a, a new solution to analyze the, 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 analyze the strategic risk. Why? Because normally, when I'm talking about uh, strategic risk, we are talking about the C-level, CEO, CFO, CIO. But currently, uh, and normally, when I'm talking about uh, uh, strategy risk, the decisions are very, very subjective. There are no fundamental in terms of uh, support, in terms of tools related to, related to science or mathematics. So the idea of framework is, uh, is to provide uh, support for multi-criteria decision analysis, MCGA. It means a, a group of methodologies related to uh, operational research. Uh, Multi-criteria decision analysis means that you have a lot of projects, for example, in, in operational research um, vocabulary called alternatives, but instead of you have a unique criteria, for example, investment, you have a set of uh, criteria. So the question is, uh, what is the better combination of all ones that provides the better solution? The strategic administration has uh, a competitiveness attribute when compared with general administration theory, that is the component environmental analysis that has for objective ensure the focus and competitiveness for our organization check some dimensions. What means? Normally, when you are uh, working in a project and you use specifically general administration theory, there is a risk to create, uh, for example, a uh, very good strategy that works very good, for example, at the United States, but does not work properly, for example, in Asia. Why? because the environmental is different. So to, it is necessary to adapt in order to have the, the success of the, your project. And for that, we are use a component called environmental analysis. It means uh, uh, strategic administration means general administration theory plus the component environmental analysis. And that is divided in three dimensions, in general environmental, in operational environmental, and internal environmental. And I will explain the difference among us. And professor. Professor. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, think I think you have published a paper applying the, this new method, haven't you? Yes. Yes, it's correct. At SYNPEP is the original uh, paper uh, paper here. Simple. Oh. It's it important because if yeah. if somebody uh, if somebody wants to use uh, wants uh, to know about the reference and use the method in, in thesis in papers, uh, they they will need the reference. So sure so here we have the, the reference about the, the the method so after yeah. our our meeting now i will i will put the the link the link uh about the method uh below in on youtube i will put Thank the you link okay okay no problem. go ahead well um Continuing, however, those decisions uh, usually are very subjective and devoid any uh, science as well mathematical tools to, to, to support decision process. It means only subjective. So this new framework 
comes to fill uh, this gap to support decision makers in a decision session, using science, support and justifying with mathematics the best decision and facilitate which using of technology. For example, uh, I, I love problems and, and I do not love the, the, the tool, but here I use the, the uh, Microsoft Excel to, to, to solve the problem. Uh, what is the problematics? So, okay, uh, imagine that a new requirement comes from the organization, a proposal of a new business, a proposal of a new project, and it is necessary to establish a strategy to conduct the new, the new business or the new project that has a lot of possibilities that in the vocabulary of multi-criteria decision analysis is called alternatives that compose the solution sets established as described in Gomes and Gomes. So uh, this is the first, the, the first problem. Uh, normally, uh, it's very, it's very easy, it's very useful to solve uh, a set of alternatives that has a unique criteria. For example, uh, time to implementation or investment. But in this case, I have a set of criteria. So, what is the better combination of those ones? to have the better solution. So in this condition, it would be necessary to establish also what will be the decision criteria. After that, it is also required to create a rule to, to score them as well as how to handle discordance among the decision makers. And remember, nobody can be out because we are working with C-level. I need to have all directors on board with the method, on board with all process decision, on board uh, on all the sessions and all the results. Uh, it is necessary to define the best way, the best methodology among the constraints to support the decision, justify uh, with science and mathematical argumentation as well as computational tools to reinforce the timeline, as well as to avoid poss possible acceptance problems with the choice among the decision makers. It means I need that all decision makers agrees with all, uh, uh, all aspects of judgments. Remember that steam is C-level. For the last stage, it was selected a method called critique. Criteria importance through intercriteria correlation that was developed by Giacolacchi, Mavotras, e Papai e Ananis in 1995. This method is specifically to create the weights of each criteria and use uh, statistics. So, uh, I am providing a, 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 a tool that is not possible to contest because if you do that, you are talking about uh, statistics does not work, and this is not this is not true. Uh, explain a little bit more uh, deeply the method. Um, the theoretical foundation of uh, strategic administration is based on six steps. The first one is environmental analysis. Based, basically, my methods are, are centered on this first step. The second one, establish the organization guideline. Third, uh, create a strategy. Fourth, uh, implement the strategy, fifth, uh, perform strategy control, and finally, the sixth, uh, we have the strategy administration. But as I told previously, we have 
three spheres in terms of uh, applications. We have the internal environment that are the dimensions that are possible to handle by the organization. We have a second one called the operational environment that is the sphere that contains the, the dimensions that are related to how the internal environment see the world. And the third one is the, the world, is the general environment. And general environment uh, is not possible to have a, a direct uh, handle by the organization. For example, imagine that uh, the project is not good in terms of financing uh, that you see in internal environment because the national politics of uh, finance is not good. So the organization are not able to move this, this general politics because they not have uh, uh, actuation in terms of country. Okay. <clears throat> see each one of these dimensions. We have the internal here that is uh, used uh, aspects uh, in, in terms of organizational, marketing, finance, personal, and production. It means uh, the organization uh, can are able to handle directly each of one of those this here. The second is, is operational. Operational is the relationship that the internal has with the world. Here we have suppliers, customers, players, labor, and international. And the last one that is properly the world, you have the economy, technology, legal, politics, and social. And here is not possible the organization change something to to increase the results related to your projects okay so let's talk specifically about the method the original method uh, critique importance to inter criteria correlation uh, create a, a matrix uh, using uh, to define a uh, weight of attributes, and there are no requirements of independence among them. And the qualitative ones are transformed in quantitative ones. What means, for example, uh, if you have a um, uh, criteria that is classified important or not important, it's not possible to do a mathematical operation with this. This is called attribute. So we use a conversion table that provide numbers in those ones in order to transform qualitative information in quantitative information. It means information that is possible to uh, use mathematics. Okay. The decision matrix for this method is based on an insertion of the alternatives or projects on the lines and respective criteria on the columns. So you have the projects there and projects there and the, the, the criteria there. Uh, provided by decision makers where RIGAJ is the matrix element of IASM alternative for, uh, from uh, Jotiasm attribute. So that is the idea uh, of uh, 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 matrix decision. After that, we are creating the first step 
st first step is to create a, a process, a mathematical process called normalization. What it means? Normalization has for objective to uh, eliminate pros, uh, uh, problems related to dimensional analysis. So the idea here is to create a dimensional numbers. There are uh, four types of uh, normalized process. Uh, this one is the original uh, method that are using and critique. And we are uh, using the, this, this, for, this formula. Uh, we are create for each uh, attribute we I uh, retard the, 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 the small value and divide by difference among uh, between uh, big value and small value. Note uh, uh, a very important uh, comment here. The original method, the critique original method has uh, uh, a constraint here because if you have for the same criteria, all uh, values are equal, you have a mathematical problem here. You have a division by zero. So in order to, uh, to, order to avoid this, this issue, it will be created a new uh, business uh, role that we, we, we add in one of that the same value plus 0 0.001. And I will explain in the, in the, the next slides why this, this uh, technique does not uh, change the results. Using uh, this new rally, this correction factor, I am avoiding the problem to relate it to divisions with zero. So the critique strategy is more general related to original critique. Okay. We are solving this problem using a uh, computational resource. Okay. Uh, another very important observation is that this method uses uh, positive attributes. It means profit monotonic attributes. In this analysis, all ones must be higher possibility because it's desired that all components be the best ones. I have uh, the idea uh, when I make the, the analysis that I will achieve also always uh, the better solution. Okay, so all attributes are positive. Step two, I will, uh, I will use basically statistics from this point uh, until the end, is calculate the correlation coefficient uh, using the period comparison between attributes by the equation below, equation number two. So what do I will do? I will compare pair to pair each uh, 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 criteria with other ones. And you make for all the criteria. Uh, after that, I will create an uh, average of these ones. And after that, I will create the standard deviation. So observe that I am uh, using exclusive uh, statistics for that. I am using correlation coefficient. I am using average and I'm using standard deviation. Okay. Step three. Step three, I will calculate uh, uh, a coefficient called C that is described by the equation number five. Yeah, you use the summatory 
of O ones of one uh, minus uh, correlation coefficient uh, and the product which uh, standard deviation for each one of the uh, criteria. And the step four, finally, I will create the weight attributes. How can I do that? Are you are you created by quotient a ratio from each one to some to some of all ones? And the idea here is to provide a ranking of those ones to create uh, a, a table of strategy risks. And um, how I use the attributes. Here, I am shown to you the Miller scale that transform attribute values in variable ones. This is the comment that I told previously. What do you do? Uh, here, I have attributes. It means uh, I have data that is not possible to make uh, operational uh, mathematics. Então, for this one, for example, I will create a, a table like that. Uh, in critique strategy, I use the Miller table that I has seven values. I have a neutral with value zero, three values uh, that uh, becomes worse, and three values that becomes better. So I have minus one, minus two, and minus three, and one, two, and three, respectively. And with that, with this adjustment, I transform um, uh, values that are not possible to make uh, mathematical uh, operations, means attributes, means qualitative data in quantitative data. And after that, I am able to make the, the operational mathematics and use statistics to uh, justify my decision. So first, I will, I will show you in, in PowerPoint. After that, I will, I will show the, the method directly and, and the worksheet Excel. The idea is that, for example, I have the, the, the situation that I has four projects. Project one, two, three, and four. My question is, okay, for this one, how is the analysis in terms of risk? And for this one, what is the better uh, project in terms of uh, risk assessment? So I will use the Miller table in order to establish the values that are showing on that. Okay? So I will classify all the 15 uh, dimensions. Five for internal environment, five for operation environment, and, and finally, five for general environment. In order to apply uh, the normalization process, I create two lines here for the maximum value and for the minimum value for each criteria. So observe that all the criteria at the same time are being used. I'm not discarding no one. Okay. Uh, in the last line, I have a question correlation factor are these, uh, uh, are there? same notes in this case and not so it's not necessary to use the correction factor next step i creation the data matrix with correction factor in, in this case for example is not necessary so i have the semi matrix 
But for example, if he, the, the marketing column is the same notes, for the maximum value, I will add 0 0.0001 in order to avoid the division by zero that I told you uh, on the previous slide. Next step, I create the normalized data matrix using this, this formula. This formula. So I have the, the new matrix only with normalized uh, values. So in this case, independent of the type of the, the information that you have and using critique strategy, is possible use not only these components. I can add more components. And with the, the normalization process, I am avoiding issues related to uh, dimensions related, okay? The next uh, step is make the period correlation. So what I do? For each dimension, I will compare with all ones using this formula number two. And we will calculate the, the coefficients. Next step, I will calculate the matrix one minus rho due to the formula number five, okay? So I create the matrix one uh, uh, minus rho, calculate the C coefficient, and consequently calculate the weight because I have one of this one and I able to do the, the, the sum of all ones. So here we have the coefficients, the C coefficients. Here we have the the weights, and here is already possible to have a ranking in terms of risks. This ranking comes from the bigger value to smaller value, okay? So, for example, in, in our case here, we have uh, production as the higher risk of this uh, this project, okay? Next step, I will add uh, this graphic, this bar graphic, showing from uh, risk number one to risk number 15, uh, from the order bigger to smaller, which are of one dimensions that has the high risk and dimensions that there, that has low risk. Why is this important? Because for the project manager, for the C-level, it is possible to verify where it is necessary to concentrate focus, to concentrate resources in order to warranty, in order to ensure the success of the project or the, the business. So that is the idea of the method. With this, uh, with this table, uh, I am a very clear scenario in terms of risks. And this scenario is justified by mathematics, statistics, and computational uh, tools. So it is not more a uh, uh, subjective decision. It's easy to justify using this way, okay? Following. Uh, specifically for uh, um, this method, I use the, the this data, I create the, the weights, and I am using uh, another uh, support method called the SMART. SMART creates um, weight average values based on 
uh, values that are generated by critique strategy in order to classify the risk related to the process. So in this case, for example, based on the original purpose of the project one, two, three, and four, I am selecting the project number two as the project that has the little risk in terms of strategy. So the solution for this problem is project number two. Of course, of course, obviously, is it possible to add uh, another uh, criteria uh, despite of the, the uh, strategy risk analysis? For example, environmental, for example, investment, uh, for example, time to complete the project, the possibilities are infinite, okay? Um, with this methodology, it was possible to merge the concepts from strategy administration, specifically with the first step environmental analysis and handle the dimensions that are necessary in the construction of a robust strategy with synergy and agreement of all decision makers involved, as well as reduce the variability of eventual subjectiveness in the individual assessments of each dimension and each sphere of the environment, because this is the fundamental uh, problem. The subjectiveness, because Another person out of the, the group uh, are able to question the results. Using this methodology that has the mathematical uh, basis, it's not possible to do that because I am using statistics to achieve my, my best set of uh, alternatives. In this new method, present a defined ranking with support of science and mathematics that reflects all inputs of all decision makers without displacing anyone. Uh, another uh, characteristic there, uh, using the correction factor when I have all the, the, the notes equal, I am not necessary uh, to dispute anyone. I am keeping, continue using all uh, the, the, the criteria. And for example, imagine that uh, marketing have the same notes. If you don't use the correction factor, uh, originally you, you will retire it from the table, the dimension marketing, and it, this decision can uh, generate some issue with the marketing director. Critique strategy solve also this problem. Uh, in this new condition, the senior management or project manager is able to work more effectively, focusing the efforts and resources in the right places, using the new tools as a way to verify potential exec execution issues, provide risk analysis, and ensure the decision becomes easier using the mathematical tools, what permits a justification very clear, robust, and easier in comparison with traditional way and without subjectiveness. Uh, this is the, the core uh, bibliography that I am using. Certo, Giacolauki, Gomes and Gomes, Mintzberg and Wright. And that's all. Uh, just a final comment. 
you can be a samurai in decision making. But only with your professional research, you are able to be the hook bluster. Master Marcos, back to you. Oh, wonderful, Professor. Uh, I think we have a question. Uh, we have a question from Diego. Diego asked, uh, one moment. Uh, Diego asked, Professor, about this, here, about this analysis, how establishment the strategy using this method in new business development in general environment? What do you think about that? Okay. Diego, this method has for objective to work on a sphere of uh, uh, environment analysis. You need to have environment analysis in order to start the creation of the strategy without to be the risk to, for example, use a strategy that works wonderfully in the United States, here in Brazil, that can be becomes a disaster. After that, you create the strategy. Uh, remember that um, general environment, the organization are not possible to handle. For example, you talking about ah, my project is not good in terms of money, and I need to change the the national finance political. It's not possible. Okay. Exactly because when we have strategic problems, it's so hard to to find a numerical scale to to measure the 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 criteria, I think. It's different. Oh, I, I want to buy a cell phone. Okay, we have the cost, we have the camera, we have the storage. It's easy. Uh, it's easy to find out uh, 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 a measure for each criterion. But when we have strategic problems, it's hard to, to find, I think, sometimes. And let me see. And normally, it's subjective, Master. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Diego, okay. Oh, Professor Benito, he he's watching the Master your, Benito. Oh, Benito, yes. Good evening. Master Marcos and Master Eder and Guilherme. Guilherme say wonderful as always. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Guilherme. You. Thank you so much. So, um, wait a moment here. Okay. So, uh, I think this method is wonderful because we can use it in many different problems, many kinds of problems. Uh, simple problems and strategic problems. And uh, I think the, the great idea is uh, it's possible to use a statistics approach to calculate the weight of each criteria. So, yeah, I agree. So uh, we don't need the judgment of each uh, deci uh, decision maker. So, Master, I have opportunity to uh, uh, stay in a in a in a room meeting in a session with C level talking about weights. It's a, a fight, fight. Yeah. Oh, it's a <laughs> totally fight. <It's> a <laughs> so thank you, thank you so much, Professor. And do you want to say anything Michael. else? about your research and advice? Do you wanna? Guys, um, specifically for, uh, I am not talking about C-Level because uh, C-Level is obviously 
but uh, for project managers, you need to know operational research, specifically, specifically, multi-criteria decision analysis. If you don't know, you are uh, have a, a big risk to make decisions incorrectly. Like I always say here in, at Military Institute of, of Engineer, there is no good decisions without operational research. It's impossible. I do not have doubts about this. It's impossible. There is no good decision without or uh, So, uh, just find this master. <laughs> So thanks so much for your presentation. My hats off Thank to you. you. And it was an honor for us to have you here today. And honor my friends, mine. my friends, thanks so much for watching this video. If if you join this this class, this video, please give give me give us your thumbs up subscribe on your our youtube channel we have more than more than 400 classes uh, about operational research simulation graph theory um, linear programming and many other many other subjects about operational research we have more than 400 classes. And uh, like professor said, and I always say with my, my students, uh, it's impossible a uh, good decision without operational research. So try it. Dip your toes, dip your toes in the water. Try it. So uh, you will see that we have many wonderful methods uh, to help us to decide better. So that's it. Thank you so, so much and see you later. Thank you, Master. Thanks for the presentation. Thank you.